New F7 has been out for a little while now. Uh, it's been out for, I believe, two weeks, and I've yet to make a guide on how to complete the brand new F7 or the most effective strategies to completing it as fast as you can. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, the fastest way to, or I'm gonna be showing you how to complete it, and then I'm also going to be showing you the fastest ways to complete it towards the end of the video. So if you're looking to get into the new F7, uh, you're gonna wanna watch the first part, and if you're looking to find faster ways to complete it, uh, then go to the second part. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first step to completing the new Floor 7 is grabbing a couple of essential items that you're going to need during the boss fight. This will include a rabbit hat, a jerry sheen gun, a bonzo staff, and a wither cloak shield for lava. Once you enter a boss fight, you and your team are going to need to grab uh, both crystals and put uh, Maxwar into the laser uh, to damage him. Uh, once you put him into the laser, uh, he's going to go all the way down to uh, 250 million health, and then you're going to have to get crystals again and damage him again. Once you finish phase one, you're going to drop down into phase two where you will be fighting Storm. And your job until Storm starts to count down is to clear out as many Wither Skeletons as you can so your Patters and Crushers can both do their job at maximum effectiveness. Once Storm starts to count down, you can Wither Cloak, uh, Bonza's Mask, or the main method is to get underneath a pillar and make sure the lightning doesn't strike you, because if it does, you will die. Now, you're going to need to crush Storm underneath Green Pad first, and then you're going to need to crush him underneath Yellow. Once you crush him underneath uh, Green Pad, you, he's going to go all the way down to 450 million health, and then he's going to start moving over to Yellow Pad, where you can crush him again. Once you've crushed Storm for the second time, you're going to need to damage him all the way down to 3.3 million health and head over to Red Pad like you normally would in the normal F7. Now you're going to do Terminals. Terminals are no longer skippable, uh, and if you try to go over the gate or through them to get into 2, 3, 4, uh, they, it will one-shot you, so you need to do Terminals together as a team. The most effective way to do this is to have one person go SS and everyone else do the other Terminals in the term. The same thing is true for the rest of the terminals, so you're going to need to have one person go device every single time, and in this clip, I am the person doing all the devices. The rest of your team is going to need to get uh, all the terminals so that you guys can move on to the next terminal. Once you complete the terminal in four, uh, you might want to put a slime hat on as this negates all KB from Goldor, and you're going to need to damage Goldor all the way down to 3.3 million health. Once your team has damaged him all the way down to 3.3 million health, you drop down into the final Necron boss fight. Here, Necron's going to pick you up into the air, destroy the pad underneath you, and you're going to need to bounce off of the lava. In this clip, I said I'll last breath Necron, but I recently discovered that this does actually nothing. So, last breath is not required for floor 7. You're going to need to hit Necron several times to diminish his fire ring so he won't damage you, and then you can begin to damage Necron. Here, he will soft cap at 250 million health, and then do the fire ring again until you can bring him down to 50 million health. Once the fire ring dissipates from the amount of hits, you finally killed Necron, and you're done with the floor. I'm going to show you some ways that you can make the new F7 a lot faster for you and your teammates. Once you enter the boss fight, you're going to want to break, or you're going to make these two blocks ghost blocks and walk into them and kind of fall through the floor. And once you do, you're going to get a ghost pickaxe, temporarily switching from silverfish to black cat. Um, so you still have the mining uh, speed that you need to break the coal blocks. You're going to run through the ghost blocks you've just created, and you're going to uh, make your way into phase three. Once you're in phase three, you're going to run to the end of one and go through the gate like so. Here, you can complete 
It's advice in two, once I get up here. And you're gonna wanna leave one lever unflicked so that it doesn't bug out and break everything. And the same for three. So you're gonna get through the same way you got through in one. And then you're going to uh, do the device in three. Meanwhile, your team is still doing the things that I showed you before uh, on the, in the clips before. Once you finish the device in three, you're gonna want a wither cloak, or once storm starts counting down, you're gonna want a wither cloak so he doesn't kill you whenever you're down there, and then you can finish the device in three. And leave one arrow one space away from being finished. Once you finish the device in three, you're going to leap to your teammates so that you can run back down into your, the little hole that you created earlier and make your way over to SS. Since you have the hole down to get into three earlier, you're gonna wanna do SS because you're gonna be right there once the device is able to be completed. For doing SS, I strongly recommend putting on a slime hat so that if Goldor throws a sword at you, you will not be damaged or you will not be flung off of SS and throw, as I did here. Once SS is completed, you're going to move into two, and you're going to do the device. Uh, in this clip, my teammate completed the device, but the lever that you left unflicked, you'll flick now and it'll instantly complete the device. Now you'll move on to three, where you'll make your way to the device that you cheesed. Here in this clip, I messed it up a little bit, but uh, you just need to spin the lever that you didn't, or spin the arrow you didn't spin all the way over, and it'll complete the whole device instantly. And this can save 15 to 20 seconds, depending on the arrow puzzle that you get. For this part, it's uh, most effective to have one teammate, usually an archer, uh, go through into core entrance early by getting a ghost pickaxe and stonking through the stair that I showed here, putting on a slime hat, and waiting for Goldor to enter. Once Goldor enters, you can DPS him like normal. The truth.